Hello and welcome to our video about Manchester, the lovable and popular canine character associated with the Manchester City Football Club. In this video, we'll learn all about Manchester's breed, age, and more, as well as take a look at Manchester City and football in general. First, let's talk about Manchester himself. Manchester is not a real dog, but a cartoon character that was created by Manchester City as a fun and friendly representation of the club. He is a black and white bulldog with a big smile and a love for football. Although Manchester's breed is not officially listed anywhere, he appears to be a mix of a bulldog and perhaps a Boston Terrier. He has a stocky build, a wrinkled face, and a short, smooth coat. His age is also unknown, but we can assume he's a young pup, full of energy and enthusiasm. So, why did Manchester City create Manchester? Well, the club has a long history of using mascots to entertain fans and promote team spirit. Moonchester is just the latest in a long line of mascots, and he has become a fan favorite for his playful antics and cheerful demeanor. Now, let's talk about Manchester City and football in general. Manchester City is a professional football club based in Manchester, England. The club was founded in 1880 and has since become one of the most successful and popular clubs in the world. Manchester City has won numerous titles over the years, including the English Premier League, the FA Cup, and the UEFA Champions League. The club is known for its talented players, passionate fans, and state-of-the-art facilities. Football is the most popular sport in the world, with billions of fans and countless professional teams. The game is played on a rectangular field with two teams of 11 players each. The goal of the game is to score more goals than the other team by getting the ball into their opponent's net. Football is not just a game, but a cultural phenomenon that brings people together from all over the world. It's a sport that transcends language, borders, and cultures, and has the power to unite people in a shared passion. In conclusion, Manchester is a beloved and iconic character associated with the Manchester City Football Club. Although he's not a real dog, he represents the fun and friendly spirit of the club and its fans. We hope you've enjoyed learning about Manchester, Manchester City, and football in general. In this episode, we'll learn all about the breed, age, and other fun facts about the furry friend who represents Sheffield United. First of all, Sheffield United is a professional football club based in Sheffield, England. The club was founded in 1889 and has a long and storied history in English football. One of the most unique aspects of the club is its dog mascot, which has become a beloved symbol for the team and its fans. The official mascot of Sheffield United is a border terrier named Captain Blade. He is a small, scrappy dog with a wiry coat and a fearless attitude. Captain Blade is often seen at the club's home matches, running around the pitch and entertaining the fans. Although Captain Blade is a fictional character, there are real-life Border Terriers that are often associated with the club. Border Terriers are a breed of small terrier that originated in the Scottish borders near the town of Jedburgh. They are known for their loyalty, intelligence, and tenacity, making them a perfect match for a football club with a proud history and passionate fan base. In addition to being the club's mascot, Captain Blade has also appeared in a number of promotional materials, including videos, merchandise, and social media posts. Fans can often be seen wearing Captain Blade t-shirts, hats, and other gear, showing their support for both the club and the lovable canine mascot. In conclusion, Sheffield United's dog mascot, Captain Blade, is a beloved and iconic symbol of the club's proud history and passionate fan base. With his scrappy attitude and loyal demeanor, he represents everything that is great about English football and the people who love it. Thank you for watching.